Hey there, so I'm in this room with some casement windows are pretty nice. Got this one here, this whole set. And one of the things that I would like to uh, just talk to you about this morning is just how complicated a casement window project can be, a historic casement window project. Um, <clears throat> it's not necessarily easy, it's just, I mean, for me, it's, it's, it's actually kind of exciting and pleasurable to kind of get to go through something like this, but man, it's tough. It really is. Why, well, why is that? Okay, well, I'll show you some reasons, okay? You know, starting with this window right here, okay? I mean, yesterday we went through and we took out these casements here, these sashes that were fused shut, they were nailed, and they uh, uh, did not open at all, okay? And... You strip them down because that's the first thing you have to do is okay, if you're gonna make them work again you have to strip all of the old paint off because there's a ton of paint buildup so that you know that it's swinging and functioning properly so we did that okay and you, know, you can't see it but we stripped the jam and we put them back in um, this this one here boom this is my favorite, it works perfectly. It has almost no need for adjustment, okay? This one here, <clears throat> look. See that daylight coming through? Client's not gonna like that. What are you gonna do? Oh, that's pretty, pretty crazy, right? So that's gotta, that's gotta be dealt with, right? You can't have a window in a modern house that has daylight like that coming through. Top up there is fine, okay? For some reason, and these are hinged, by the way. These are hinged. Some reason, it's spread out a little bit over time. I, I have to assume that at the, in the beginning, those were properly spaced. Something happened over time. Well, a couple of hints, you know, as you start to look at you know, a big window unit like this, which is really interesting. You might not be able to tell from this viewpoint, but if I zoom in, you can see up there that it's sloped a little bit, okay? So if indeed the jam is plumb or parallel, I mean, that's relative, right? how much that matters but if it is plumb okay that indicates that this corner has dropped down and it's hard to see with the naked eye but it looks like there has been some settling there you know, look. so you can see how it slopes downhill that way which is parallel with that it's really interesting. So what that means is this corner up here, it's, um, you can't see any daylight through that up there, but it's just barely, there's just barely enough meat on the top of this sash to, you know, be able to say that it closes properly, okay? So. So that's, that's that, we haven't even talked about this. The other thing too that's an interesting discovery is that this grid here is mullions, those are concrete. So, didn't know that. So then, you know, I walk over to this one, okay? And, you know, I know that, I know that this one's got problems. Immediately, you know, I can see that there's a section of the sash that has been replaced, okay? Well, if this sash is going to function and operate, 
that's not going to fly. You know, and I, I'm pretty sure that that was just cut out from another piece and put back in there so that when I take this guy out, this section here, it's going to uh, probably not be salvageable. So that's, that's a big problem. Okay. So anyway, I took this section out knowing that there's not any hinges attached from the outside. So when I started doing that, you know, you start to see other things, you know, like, okay, well, there's this, there's this sill here that was added on somewhere in here. There's a connection. Okay. You can tell because down there you can see how it's not connected all the way. Okay. Then I have to climb on out here. I look at the jam here. You know, I've got you know some new stuff here. Um, but look, I've got to my old my old place where my hinge was mounted there. Check this out. This is a new piece of wood. So apparently somewhere along the line this was rotted out. And somebody put a piece of pressure treated in there. So I have no idea when I go to swing the casement that was here, whether or not it's gonna be right, okay? I have no idea. I know that it fits in the opening because I took it out, but the same thing is over here. Boom, oh, you can see where it was cut, you know, put in. So that's the interesting thing about um, window craft. Okay, because, you know, it's not necessarily just as simple as, hey, somebody needs to take out and come out and reglaze these windows or paint them and stuff like that. You know, you got to have, you know, some real chops to even know what to do with this kind of thing. I mean, if these windows are ever to swing again, who was, who is our culture going to send out? to be able to make these things work again, you know? So it's, um, it's pretty crazy. You know, a typical carpenter was sent out here. A typical carpenter did do what you see here, you know? And it's just gonna take, it takes a lot of context. It takes a lot of background. It takes a lot of inside knowledge to even be able to know you know what it is that could be done you know so what do you do um well i'm going to stew on this for a while you know i'm going to take it apart and i'm going to think about it real hard and um see what we got to do to put these windows right again so anyway um, I don't know that I'll have a follow-up to this video, but just wanted to um, highlight you know, just how complex you know, a set of casement windows in an old house can be. You know, it's not, it's, it's not just, it's just not so easy.